Welcome everyone. Today we're gonna to be talking about how Alex and I made our first million dollars in one year. For Alex and for myself, how I generated a million dollars in a two, three-ish year period. So I'll lay out my numbers and we'll go into detail. I think what's really unique about our perspective, because this video has been done probably a ton of times, mm -hmm on YouTube, how do you make a million dollars, how to make your first million dollars, how to make and become a millionaire in you know less than a year, whatever the case mm. may be. But what we don't often see is the content creator talking about that first million mm. right as they did it. Mm. Like say Patrick Bed David, for example, he talked about making your first million dollars after he's done made a hundred million dollars, right? right? Not to say that what he says is not, you know, incorrect. Mm -hmm. It's just the distance. Yeah. Like I'm sure he's he's forgetting things, mm -hmm. right? Just like any other, like when we become multi multi millionaires, we're gonna forget some things and we're mm -hmm. gonna like give the the summary. So whereas at this very moment we're experiencing it. Right. It's only been you know a it's year. It's a short time frame, exactly. no matter how you look at it. And I will add, a lot of people say, "How do you make a million dollars?" or "How I made a million dollars." but they made it in the stock market over 30 years. And it's like, <laughs> I guess that's the case. We're talking about if you have an online business, YouTube channel, coaching business, e-commerce business, this is how we made our first million in that space, right? Not investing, not the stock market. That's a completely different game. And yeah, you could be a millionaire if you invest 300 bucks a month for a million years, you know? Yeah, well, this is just different. We've seen the videos on how to turn $500 into 400,000, right. right? Over God knows how many years. Mm -hmm. right? Which is fine. Which is fine. But this is not that video. This is not that video. So let's dive in. Let's, I want you to go first in terms of how you generated your first million dollars. Um, either you could talk about the very first million, mm. right? Because we've been in business for a couple of years. I think now. that'd be a good contrast. Your first okay. million in business, yeah. my first seven figure year. Let's do that. And how it happened. And I'll add that it was not, I would say, consistent. However you spell consistent. It was not consistent. It was very exponential where the first year I made I think like $20,000. 2018? Yeah, I think, no, 2016 like or 2017. Okay, okay, this is yeah. before we met then. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. I made like, yeah, 40,000, like nothing worthwhile. And then I think I made that for the next few years. And then I had my first six figure year. I think I made like 250 in revenue. And then I had a down year. Then I made my first million dollar year. So it was not consistent. I think a lot of people think I'm gonna make Five million or five thousand dollars a month, then ten thousand dollars a month, then twenty, you know, then fifty thousand dollars a month. Then I'll make seven figures a year. Mm -hmm. But it, it's very much exponential because I figured out what worked and then just did the same thing daily over and over and over again. But for the first few years, I didn't know what I was doing, so I was still figuring things out. So I didn't know what to focus my time on. I was kind of doing this social media and that YouTube and this e-commerce and it was all over the place. So I think it's all about understanding that your first year or two in business without a coach, you're not really gonna expect to make a million dollars because you have no idea what you're doing. I mean, just like when you go to the gym for the first time, you don't know what weight I should do, how many sets, how many reps, biceps, arms day, back day, you know, leg day, you don't know how that works. So you can't expect to become ripped with a six pack in like six months of working out. Right. having never worked out before. So same thing with a business. There's so many little things that over time, as you mentioned, we're not making this looking 40 years ago at our first million. We're looking at it, I mean, pretty recently in the grand scheme of things. And so don't expect it to be right away and or consistent, steady growth. It's usually exponential. Once you just have that aha moment and you figure things out. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I think the other important thing to add, he's being fully transparent in terms of what he did his first year in business. And so a lot of the videos that we see on YouTube, they forget to point out how many years it took them to mm -hmm. generate their first million dollars. Right. So they make it sound really, you know, really easy. easy. Yeah. Where in your case, it was a good three, you said from 2016 to about 2018, 2019 is when you had your first six figure year. Yeah. So we're talking about a five, six year window before seeing six figures. Mm -hmm. And then it was another, maybe I think two more years. Yeah, like a year and a half, a year something and a half like that. So before you did a million, right? Yeah. So do you want to write the time, the exact timeline that you generated yes. your first 
million dollars.、Mm-hmm. So I'll write on my side of the board. So you're looking at first year was about let's even say thirty thousand. Let's skip to three years. Let's say three point five years. That was maybe two fifty in sales. That's like twenty nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. Then the year after that was not good. That was like I think year four and a、year. half. That was like and around that time I think I did only one fifty. Then I believe sometime around year five, year five and a half, that's when I did I think over a million. But let's just say my first seven figure year. So that was really the growth from starting out, no idea what I was doing, to then, oh wow, I think I know what I'm doing. Wow, I suck. <laughs> then <laughs> I made、um, the million dollars in that year, and then of course it's grown ever since. But、um, a lot of people just want to act like this is how it works. That's business, especially online. You can make this in the first year. Of course, with a coach, you can get there faster, but don't expect this. Without a lot of struggle and figuring things out, you know this is year one to year three and a half. Most people don't make it to the first year to even make thirty thousand. They'll quit probably around like eighteen to twenty-four months. So they'll stop here and miss out on all this growth、yep. and opportunity. And then of course, I'm just in year seven right now, doing about you know five hundred thousand a month. So if I'm doing five hundred thousand a month right now, what am I going to do in year twenty-seven? <laughs> Which sounds funny because it's yeah, like, yeah. wow, it's only going to keep going,、yeah. ideally. But a just, lot of people stop right here. Just like money compounds when you invest it in investment accounts.、Mm-hmm. Yes, after thirty years or so, you're going to be compounding a lot of money. Yeah, I, I would say the same thing works for business. Do you really expect to grow less as you get better and better、right. in your business, especially if you're doing something that you're you get a lot of joy from, passion, purpose, fulfillment, all、mm-hmm. that? So. We did our first million within a twelve calendar month.、Mm-hmm. Was not until the fifth year, roughly,、right. in business. Gotcha.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me use the the marker. And I know you. What's What's interesting is you did mention that that is not not consistent,、mm-hmm. right? And it's it's、uh, exponential. Also, it's exponential. Yeah. In and I would attest to that. And my numbers might look consistent, but there's a whole gap. Mm-hmm. Of of this right here for、mm-hmm. me as well. So 2014 to 2018, I'm probably where Alex is. No more than 30k in any given one of those years. No more than 30k. I meet Alex in 2018, and then he starts helping me. But it wasn't until 2019 I had my first six-figure year. So that is exponential. Like、mm-hmm. it, when you compare it, when you 10x, I mean. So I literally 10x, right?、Yeah. And then 2020 was also a pretty big year, right? I did 464, right? In my second year, like we're talking technically in terms of when I started the LLC was started in 2019, but we're talking six years of. Failures and preparations、mm-hmm. and networkings and、uh, cold calls, warm leads, cold leads, follow up, bunch of no's in your face.、Mm-hmm. If you get through that, I'm telling you, it, the the payoff is is huge, right? And so then, 2021 was 332. So just like so, Alex had a down year. And that's what's what's interesting is like you you blow up your income and then all of a sudden it like. Weird things happen, emotions happen,、mm-hmm. imposter syndrome,、uh, fear of failure, fear of success, and starting to find ways to spend money. Starting to find new ways to spend、yeah. money. Like, how is it that I was able to live off of this、mm-hmm. back in 2014 to 2018? Mind you, from 2019 into 2020 and into 2021, I'm living with my stepdad, my mom, my little sister, my my little niece. So. I wasn't paying rent between 2019 and 2021. And that's almost a million dollars or so, almost in almost revenue. Million, right. Yeah. And somehow, <laughs> I figured out how to make how to spend. I was probably spending 1,500 a month to then doing 15,000 dollar months. Right. You right? 10x across the board. 10x across the board, like. <laughs>、huh. That's just how it happens, though. 
And so there's, there's definitely, you know, there's fear in that. And it's just being able to understand how to operate, how to spend, how to reinvest money into your business mm -hmm. instead of into personal things. And we're both, you know, victims of that. Actually, he's be much better than me at it. It still happens though. You still, still find ways and you're like, five years ago, I would have never spent money at this restaurant or done this. Exactly. But that's how life goes. And of course, mortgage and rent and kids and everything like that um yeah. so then 2022 i did three hundred and seventy two thousand. Mm -hmm. so i think if i think these numbers together equal one mil two so six nine so by the yeah. end of 2021 or mid you made your first million roughly yeah yeah this mm -hmm. is this is revenue dollars this isn't investment dollars this mm -hmm. isn't you know a lucky money, stock market play right or or yeah. real estate flip or anything this is actual sales like mm -hmm. i'm i'm marketing something i'm selling something i'm calling people i'm closing people i'm following up i'm nurturing so that's the people we're talking to in this video those who are building businesses you have a, a car detailing business you have a are a laundromat like you have a insurance business you have maybe you're a realtor mm -hmm. maybe you're like anything that you provide a service whether it's tangible or intangible and there's a sales process in that that's who we're talking to today not the person that is trying to work at a job mm -hmm. and then have money left over and then go invest that money right in the stock market somewhere and or in other people's businesses for mm -hmm. that matter right yeah and actually in the next video we're going to touch on more like what you mentioned with sales process like how did this happen because i know now we're just putting numbers out there mm -hmm. and that's still a little bit simplistic so in the next video we are going to talk about like how do you actually generate that revenue growth 10x like what did you offer what were the price points the sales process the marketing the acquisition channels like all the details, because I know you and I to discuss a lot of mindset, which isn't a bad thing, but sometimes people come and like, that's fine. I like mindset, but give me more like specifics, you know? Yeah. So this was a good kind of introductory. And also just showing again, it's not consistent. Again, people stop right here. People stop before they see any growth at all and they see what's possible. So in the next video, we are gonna to touch on the specifics of again, how do you generate this revenue? even if you're selling a $5 product or a $50,000 product and how that works. So this was how we made our first mill. Tune in for the next video. Have a wonderful day. God bless. We'll be talking soon.